Hey, what's going on everybody? So today I'm super, super excited. I don't do a lot of these toy unboxings or, co or uh, collector's unboxings very often, but lately I have been really excited of the release of a couple of things. One, the Masters of the Universe uh, re-releases, the new for 20s, which are fantastic. The articulation's awesome. But additionally, NECA Toys, N-E-C-A, has been doing some awesome, awesome detailed figures of the original Ninja Turtles movie. Um, they've started also dabbling into Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze, but um, it is hard to get a hold of the NECA figures at a decent price, uh, so most of the time you're going to be scalping on eBay uh, and stuff like that. But I managed to get a hold of a Ninja Turtles shredder. This thing is fan fantastic look at this sorry for the light reflections but on the back you can see that uh this is a very well detailed piece awesome totally awesome we are going to unbox this bad boy right now all right so here we go this is the NECA shredder and I'm super excited because it also says that the mask comes off. Um, I am not worried about keeping the box so much. But let me go ahead and see if I can... Let's see. Well, I'm not really worried about the box, I guess, so I don't care. I know some collectors' brains are, like, blowing up right now just seeing that I did this to this package but you know what it's my package I'm not planning on selling it so I really don't care so very cool um, very cool very very cool all right so here we have shredder in all his glory looks pretty good also comes with that fantastic silvered weird cape that he had in the movies which I really thought was pretty cool looking um, but as I get older, I really didn't like it. All right, so first off, comes with his staff. Pretty cool. So that's nice. You remember from the rooftop scene. Um, it also comes with his knife, a sheath for the knife that he had in his back, and multiple different hands. So that's really cool. All right. Let's go ahead and get this guy out of the package here. Sorry my camera angle kind of sucks, guys. Um, I'm trying to really figure out how to do these better with a better angle, and right now I really can't think of anything, so I'm just going to have to do it this way. So he comes very secured in here. Multiple uh, parts that he's secured to. Hands, arms. So there is Shredder. Pretty sure we're going to have to do a balancing act here. Alright, well he stands up, that's good. Let's see if I can get some better light on him here. Maybe get a better angle. Oh yeah. There we go. Look at that detail. That is sick. Alright. His helmet is very shiny like the movie, so that's nice because if you remember in the foot layer in the little warehouse, um, it was very hard to actually make out the points on everything. Um, his blades on everything are really, really sharp and shiny. Alright, so let's check this out. So, articulation. Good movements on the arms. Now he does have his shoulder pieces here so his arms don't go straight out, which I'm fine with. Uh, there's only so much you can work with. Um, I guess they could have made this part a little uh, flexible, but you know what? I'm okay with it not being flexible. Um, so good movement on the legs. It's pretty decent. The uh, pieces here are really well made. I mean, these are these are nice. Very good bending on the legs. So yeah, you could easily put them in a sitting position, no problem. 
stomping position, whatever. Now what I'm really excited for is the face mask. Now, you'll see right here the little neck piece, the cowl, I guess you could say. It's a separate piece, which I don't understand, but I'm okay with. Let's take this mask off. Oh, that's, oh, that is so awesome. Look at that. Just like the movie. Beautiful sculpt on this. Holy cow, this is awesome. This is a great sculpted piece. My gosh. That is gorgeous. That is awesome. Very well done. Very well done. So here is the actual face mask. Once again, very well sculpted. Each individual little piece in here, the screen mesh, you can see that it's held in by an additional piece of black plastic, which is awesome, so you don't have to worry about that mesh popping out. Um, and it looks like on the inside of his face, you can see a tiny little notch on the skin. That's actually where the mask is going to attach to. So here we have Shredder, no mask. And let's see how easy it goes back on. Not sure if we'll hear a snap. I can't get it on straight. All right, so it does snap. You do hear the snap sound. So there is Shredder again. This is a really well sculpted piece, folks. All right, so let's check this out. So he does have right here um, part of his bandana for his waist is cloth, so you could easily put the um, the dagger in the sheath in his waistband, I'm guessing. Like I said, guys, I'm kind of new to the uh, unboxing videos, so forgive me if I have um, off-screen moments. I'm trying to catch everything on screen. So there's the knife, and it fits very nicely inside the sheath. Um, it is very loose, though, so I'm guessing if you tip the figure over, that knife is going to... Oh, yeah, that knife's going to fall right out. That's okay. Let's try to get it back in his waistband. Um, so let's see. I'm going to use his staff right here to pry up his waist, waistband a little bit. Get that sheath in here. Very nice. So the sheath fits in his waistband. Perfectly fine. It's a good fit. All right. We're going to switch out the hands. Now the hands... Well, this one actually just came off. The hands come out really easily. They snap in and out of place. Just like that. So now he's a handless shredder. Alright, so here we have a few different hand versions. So we have some open hands, which is really nice. So you have both hands open. And then you have two more fists, which I don't understand because these look identical. Oh, here we go. These fists have an opening in them so he can hold stuff. All right, so this fist too. All right, so we'll show you how easy these snap into place. Just like that. And then this one will do an open hand. All right, so now we have an open hand and a shut hand. Should be able to put his spike right in here. It's a nice tight fit. Awesome. And there we go. This is a really, really nice piece. All right, so we have that figured out. Now let's go ahead and open up his um, his cape. There are some plastic bendies inside the edges of this, which is good, which means you can semi-shape the cape. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, the inside is black. So let's go ahead and put the cape on him. 
And it looks like there's little hooks on here where you can secure the cape, which is pretty cool. secure it and there he is with his cape so that is pretty cool let's go ahead and dim that down a little bit maybe how's that look yeah so there you go folks there is shredder the NECA series very excited he is gonna look awesome on my display once I get it done.